हेलो स्टूडेंट्स तो आज हम बात करने वाले हैं रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ के सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट सब टॉपिक कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव मेथड्स के बारे में फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव मेथड है क्या एनी प्रोसेस विच विल नॉट अलाउ फर्टिलाइजेशन टू टेक प्लेस अगर किसी फीमेल को कंसीव नहीं करना है प्रेगनेंट नहीं होना है तो कुछ मेथड्स हैं टू अवॉइड द प्रेगनेंसी और फर्टिलाइजेशन दैट मेथड इज कॉल्ड एज कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव मैथड बेटा कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव मेथड तो बहुत सारे होते हैं लेकिन आइडियल कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव मेथड वो मेथड है जो फियर को फुलफिल करे वॉट इज दैट फियर बेटा एफ मीन्स इट हैज टू बी यूजर फ्रेंडली इट हैज टू बी यूजर फ्रेंडली एंड देन इट हैज टू बी इफेक्टिव इट हैज टू बी इफेक्टिव एंड इट हैज टू बी इजिली अवेलेबल एंड इट हैज टू बी रिवर्सिबल सो एनी which will not allow pregnancy to occur and which will follow the fear phenomenon fear means not frighten friendly user friendly effective available and it has the reversible nature ye sari cheeze agar aap fulfill karte hain to aap ek ideal contraceptive mane jate hain now beta ideal contraceptive bhi bahut sare types ke hote hain to ncert ne ideal contraceptives diye hain in three types like beta if we are going to divide it so hamare paas varieties of contraceptive methods hote hain so we are going to write first is called as natural method okay beta there is a natural method then we have a barrier method then we have intra uterine devices then we have oral pills or oral contraceptive then we have implants and last we have surgical method surgical method surgical methods ab question ye banta hai ab question ye banta hai that how we will remember kis mein kya ho raha hai सो so, याद रखना ये है कि इन द केस ऑफ नेचुरल एंड इन द केस ऑफ बैरियर वी आर नॉट अलाउविंग द फिजिकल टच ऑफ स्पर्म एंड एग और ओवम तो हम यहाँ पे स्पर्म प्लस ओवम को मीट नहीं करने दे रहे हैं तो स्पर्म इज नॉट अलाउड टू मीट टू द ओवम इज इट क्लियर स्पर्म इज नॉट अलाउड टू मीट टू द ओवम नाउ इन द केस ऑफ intra uterine devices in the case of intra uterine devices we are phago we are doing phago cytosis of sperm we are killing the sperm we are not allowing the sperm to go into the vagina of a female so phagocytosis of sperm second phagocytosis then we are reducing the sperm motility to so, sperm motility is destroyed sperm motility is destroyed and we are also reducing what sperm motility and we are also destroying the uterus condition for implantation so uterus okay decreasing decreasing uterus uterus environment for implantation so implantation require a proper uterus we are not allowing the uterus to be healthy enough for the implantation when it comes to the oral pills beta in the oral pills and implant the same chemical is used in the case of oral pills and in the case of implant the same chemical is used that is called as progestogen progestogen plus estrogen so estrogen and estrogen and progestogen not progesterone it is progestogen synthesized progesterone is called as progestogen so progestogen estrogen we are using in combination we can use single progestogen or we can use in the combination of progestogen plus estrogen ab isse hota kya hai beta isme aapko khyal rakhna hai intra uterine devices ka kaam thoda different hai oral contraceptive se oral contraceptives is not allowing ovulation to occur so we are stopping ovulation and we are also not allowing suppose ovulation any chance happens so we are also not allowing the implantation so we are avoiding ovulation avoiding ovulation and we are avoiding implantation 
इम्प्लांटेशन ओवलेशन दोनों स्टॉप हो रहा है क्योंकि बेटा दोनों का केमिकल सेम है तो ओरल पिल्स और इम्प्लांट्स का दोनों का फंक्शन ये है कि वी हैव टू अवॉइड ओवलेशन एंड इम्प्लांटेशन इन द केस ऑफ इंट्रा यूट्रेन डिवाइसेस वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द स्पम मोटिलिटी वी आर रिड्यूसिंग द स्पम मोटिलिटी फर्टिलाइजिंग कैपेसिटी हम स्पम की डिस्ट्रॉय कर रहे हैं हम फेगोसाइटोसिस कर रहे हैं स्पम को ही डिस्ट्रॉय कर दे रहे हैं जैसे वो यूट्रस में जा रही है थर्ड हम लोग यूट्रस का इन्वायरमेंट इतना घटिया कर दे रहे हैं कि फर्टिलाइजेशन हो ही नहीं फर्टिलाइजेशन हो भी गया तो इम्प्लांटेशन तो नहीं होने लायक होगा क्लियर नाउ इन द सर्जिकल मेथड क्या हो रहा है हम गैमीट्स को मिलने ही नहीं दे रहे वी आर नॉट अलाउिंग द गैमीट्स टू मीट द स्पम एंड एग वाई वट इज द मेल गैमिट स्पम वट इज द फीमेल गैमिट एग वी आर नॉट अलाउिंग दम टू मीट बिकॉज हम लोग क्या कर रहे हैं कट कर रहे हैं ट्यूब इन द फीमेल फैलोपियन ट्यूब ट्यूबेक्टॉमी इन द मेल वासा डिफरेंशिया दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वेसेक्टॉमी बट आप हमेशा याद रखेंगे वेन इट्स कम्स टू द सर्जिकल मेथड इन रिवर्सिबल नेचर बहुत डिक्रीज हो जाता है सो वेन इट्स कम्स टू द नेचुरल मेथड आई यू डीज ओरल कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव इम्प्लांट्स दे आर रिवर्सिबल इन नेचर जैसे ही आप इनको बॉडी में विदड्रॉ कर लेते हैं नहीं यूज करते हैं अगेन यू कैन बी प्रेगनेंट बट द इन द केस ऑफ सर्जिकल मेथड प्रेगनेंसी रिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस और प्रेगनेंसी कंसीविंग इज बिकम लिटिल डिफिकल्ट क्लियर एक आई होप दिस point is clear now we are further dividing the natural method into three type one is called as periodic abstinence second is quite a quite as interrupters and like, uh, this is called as withdrawal symptom the last is called as lactational amenorrhea beta in the periodic abstinence means for a period of time we are not doing intercourse periodic abstinence we are abstaining the intercourse for some period of the time so beta menstrual cycle is divided into three part if you remember menstrual stage ovulatory st- uh, phase and the post ovulatory phase so what happens suppose a woman started bleeding on the 1 april so 1 april to the 7 april she is going to do the bleeding and all but from the 10th april to the 17th april this phase is called as ovulatory phase ओके और दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज दिस इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज फर्टाइल फेज फर्टाइल फेज इन दिस केस इफ अ वुमन इज डूइंग टू गो इन टू कोर्स बिकॉज ओवम इज रिलीज एट दिस वीक व्हाट हैपेंस इफ अ वुमन इज गोइंग टू डू इन टू कोर्स शी माइट गेट प्रेग्नेंट सो व्हाट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट from 1 april to 7 april she is going to bleed if she is going to do the intercourse during the menstrual cycle she is not pregnant she is not going to get pregnant but from the 10th april to 17th april when she is going to release the ovum at any chance if she has unprotected uh, intercourse she might get pregnant so what we have to avoid this period of time abstinence we are, we are avoiding abstaining the intercourse for some period of time what is the period of time from the 10th to the 17th of the menstrual cycle clear now what is the coitus interruptus and withdrawal interruption interruptus means something is hampered you know hindered so coitus what is a coitus the insertion of the penis into the vagina is called as coitus so what happens during the intercourse male generally produces the sperm into the vagina and then how the female get pregnant but what we are doing we are interrupting the coitus we are not allowing the sperm to go into the vagina how we what uh, what happens a male withdraws the penis from the vagina so what happens sperm comes out of vagina not inside the vagina that's how the prevention of meeting of egg to the sperm hackers that's why she won't get pregnant now lactational amenorrhea when a woman is doing intense lactation she is not going for the menstrual cycle amenorrhea means absence of menstrual cycle so if a woman just have delivered a baby she is going to produce the milk now when the milk is producing that phase is called as lactational phase if a woman is going to have intercourse that time because no menstrual cycle is occurring no ovulation no egg release no ovum means then no fertilization so for must four or five month after the delivery female who don't show menstrual cycle 
will can have intercourse and she will not get uh, pregnancy so these if 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 a woman is doing intercourse after the parturition we they can avoid the pregnancy that due to natural method these are called as natural method of contraceptive but beta because we are not using any protection and all the chance of the failure can be high so natural method do not requires any chemical any barrier method any kind of uh, protection but because it don't require it the failure chances high now beta we are going to talk about the barrier methods so what are the barrier method so in the case of the barrier methods we are going to use some substances which are not allowing sperm or egg to fertilize or sperm ovum to fertilize now beta in that we have condoms okay so what are the condoms so beta condoms are a barrier or these are the uh, you know substances which are not allowing egg or sperm to meet barrier right so condoms are that so condoms are made up of latex sheath or they are made up of uh, you know these are a latex sheath or these are uh, specialized polyethyl substances so these these are made up of rubbers also rubbers polyethyl or latex sheath which will not allow the sperm to meet with the egg so now beta there are two type of condoms the male condoms and the female condoms so when it comes to that pe uh, paper have asked the differentiation so when it comes to the female condoms you have to understand that in that they are going to cover the cervix part okay so they are going to cover the cervix and they will have two rings okay so there is two ring but in the case of male condom we have going to have single ring okay now they are going to cover the cervix so if they are going to cover the cervix they are not allowing the sperm to enter into the cervix so no entry means no fertilization now for the female we have walls okay walls we have diaphragm and then beta we have cervical caps cervical caps so these are female condoms which are going to prevent the entry of sperm because they are covering the cervix they have to enter the cervix then to the uterus then to the fallopian tube for fertilization but because we are stopping the sperm into the cervix we are not allowing them to fertilize so these are the protective barriers in the male down in the male we have we have said that only a single ring will be there now what happens that now what happens there is one popular question that has been asked in aipmt triple uh, this uh, uh, aims and uh, we have also asked in neat triple of the time they consecutively the same question come from one this point they will ask which is the uh, popular co you know male condoms so what is the uh, popular uh, condom brand okay so they have mentioned is that nirodh so this questions beta you can work into so nirodh is the most popular brand for the barrier methods okay so now i hope you understand here we also removing the physical so physical removal means physically we are removing the sperm not to enter into the vagina of a female that is the only method of barrier now beta we have to talk about intra uterine devices beta intra uterine devices this is the very important when it comes to the neat point of view intra uterine devices so these are the devices which are inserted into the uterus of a female uterus okay uterus now beta when say what is the iud you can say that ideal plus popular it is the ideal popular and effective okay so it is ideal popular and effective now iud's intra uterine devices so beta we have three types of intra uterine devices it cannot be inserted by anybody a normal person cannot insert it a trained doctor and nurse has to be required now beta we have three type of iud's one is called as uh, one is called as lips loop this is called as non medicated so we have non medi gated non medicated okay then we have copper releasing copper releasing iud's and then beta we have hormone hormone releasing iud's beta ab now they have asked you question what is the function i'm really sorry now they will ask you a very important question what is the function of 
non medicated iods what is the function of copper releasing iods and what is the function of hormone releasing iods so non medicated is called as lips loop lips loop they will help in phagocytosis so phagocytosis phagocytosis of sperm so they will destroy the sperm now beta copper releasing sorry copper releasing iods so copper releasing iods it doing what it is not allowing the sperm motility motility lity okay so motility of sperm is decrease so decrease sperm motility point number 1 second they will reduce the fertilizing capacity of sperm so fertilizing capacity capacity of sperm so fertilizing capacity of sperm or mobility of sperm will be decreased so now the sperm will sperm flagella will be destroyed so it cannot move efficiently fertilizing capacity means the capacity to fertilize the egg is decreased so because of that sperm is not allowed to go and meet with the ovum now hormone releasing iods is doing what they are not allowing the uterus to be so uh, cell sufficient for implantation so they are destroying the hostile condition of the uterus so they will so infit infit make uterus unfit unfit for implantation so ye implantation hone nahi denge what is implantation the attachment of the blastocyst to the uterus wall endometrium so this is called as implantation so what happens if the uterus is not fit for implantation then how the fertilization will be possible i mean for how the pregnancy will be possible so what happens is that hormone releasing ud uh, intrauterine devices are not allowing implantation to occur clear now beta we have to understand that in the examination they ask the example so they ask you example so non medicated example is lips loop now you have copper releasing copper releasing iods and then beta you have hormonal hormone releasing iods copper and hormone now beta copper is further divided into three types one is called as copper t copper 7 and then you have multi load multi load 375 beta copper t copper 7 multi load 375 it is copper releasing iods it will ask in the exam copper releasing iods example copper t copper 7 multi load 375 what is their work is they will stop the mobility of sperm and they will stop the fertilizing capacity of the sperm what is the hormone releasing iods hormone releasing iods are two type one is called as lng lng 20 okay and then it is called as progesta cert so progesta cert and lng 20 progesta cert and lng 20 progesta cert and lng 20 these are hormone releasing how to remember hormone releasing progesta cert lng progesta cert theek hai hpl hypertext okay so hpl hpl you know hp laptops तो एच पी लैपटॉप एच पी एल हॉर्मोन रिलीजिंग एल एन जी ट्वेंटी एंड देन बेटर वॉट यू हैव प्रोजेस्टा सर्ट सो एच पी लैपटॉप एच पी लैपटॉप प्रोजेस्टा सर्ट एल एन जी ट्वेंटी दिस इज कॉपर सो कॉपर हैव सी यू सो सी यू टू सी यू सेवन एंड मल्टी लो थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव सो आई होप यू विल रिमेंबर विद दैट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ओरल कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव कॉल्ड एज ओरल पिल्स सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द ओरल पिल्स oral pills or over oral contraceptive you have to understand they are the combination of progestogen progestogen plus it is the estrogen so progestogen estrogen combine to form a pill which has to be taken for 21 days 21 days simultaneously okay now what happens beta ki what the oral pills are doing first of all if i say oral you have to remember popular the most popular contraceptive oral so o for 
popular o for oral clear now beta if i somebody ask you if somebody ask you what is the function of oral contraceptive one thing has to be remember that it will stop ovulation it will not allow ovulation to occur and it just not it will stop ovulation it will also stop the implantation so implant implantation will also will not done so it will stop ovulation and implantation but how you have to take the pills but what happens that you only don't take the pill when you are on the menstrual so suppose you are bleeding that time we are not taking the pills but immediately when the bleeding stop when you feel like you bleeding has stopped for same from that same day you have to take the pills for another 21 days why because 28 days is the normal menstrual cycle suppose for 5 days you bleed 5 to 7 days you ble bleed okay so during that time ovulation is not possible okay ovulation is not done so what happens even if you do the intercourse egg is not released so what happens the intercourse will not be successful and female will not be fertilized but after that the moment the, the ovulation i mean the moment the period is over so a female can produce the egg and ovum so what we take the pills so every day every day after the menstrual cycle you have to take pills for 21 days because of that pills what happens the ovulation stops no ovulation no fertilization no pregnancy clear now beta another questions they ask for the oral pills right now the main question is called as saheli so beta saheli is the oral contraceptive oral contraceptive which is non steroidal non steroidal beta progestogen and estrogen these are steroids progestogen and estrogens are the steroid but what central drug research institute cd RI Central Drug Research Institute of Lucknow have developed a new oral contraceptive pill called as Saheli. If you're going to take this pill only a week, once a week pill, or oh, other oral contraceptive like Mala Ds and all these another uh, so Saheli is different than Mala D. Okay, so if we talk about the Saheli, we have to take it as only one time a week. This is once a week pill. Okay, there you have to take twenty one days continuously. Better the same question repeatedly. Neat exam. They said that a Saheli pill has to be taken one time a week. but other oral pill has to be taken for 21 days am i clear clear here okay so and what about another thing of saheli saheli is non steroidal so what they do saheli function is to avoid ovulation to avoid implantation and it is once a week pill and it is non steroidal combination where it was research has been done in lucknow central drug research institute is it clear i hope it is clear now beta we are going to talk about the last uh two second last that is called as implants beta implants are the same as oral contraceptive in the oral contraceptive what you have used the same chemical that is progestogen plus estrogen combination progestogen and estrogen progestogen and estrogen so progestogen and estrogen combination you will use but now you will keep this under skin in the form of implant and they will have a longer duration longer duration oral pill will have one day effect how long you are taking the pill it will only going to work on that implants have longer duration sus sustainability the same function it will also stop ovulation it will also help in not producing implantation ovulation and implantation ye bhi rokenge but ye beta ye pills nahi hai ye tablets ke form pe nahi aati hai ye aapko apne skin ke under rakhne padenge which will release the effect am i clear so implants are the same as oral pills it just not that they are going to work as a pill you don't have to take as a pill these will be a uh, kept under your skin or inside your body which will release its stimulatory effect now better the last which is very 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 important is called as surgical method this is called as surgical method in the surgical method surgery used to be done means cut and something 
with the caesar it is done so one is called as tubeck tommy one is called as tubeck tommy one is called as vesec tommy now beta t for tubeck tommy so you remember tanya in the female name is tanya and uh, vesec tommy remember the name vishal so vesic tommy occur in the male tubic tommy occur in the female how beta here fallopian tube is cut fallopian tube is cut and tie cut and tie so what happened this is the this is the uterus of a female clear this is your this is the fallopian tube so what happens this is the vagina suppose cervix so what happens sperm will come and sperm will wait here but if we will cut the fallopian tube the egg is not allowing to meet here to the sperm so this is called as ampulla junction so ampulla is for the fertilization so what happens we are not allowing egg to come into the come egg to come to the sperm so that's how we are preventing the gametes to fuse in the case of male vasa differentia vasa differentia is cut and tied so male have like this is the testis this is vasa efferentia this is epididymis this is vasa differentia so what happens they will cut the vasa differentia so that the sperm from the testis to they can from here this is the testis testis to vasa efferentia epididymis but from the vasa differentia it will not go to ejaculatory duct clear so the sperm is not allowed to leave the vasa differentia so that's all for today's lecture stay tuned for many more take care bye